Finally, this game is here. I've waited so long. The previous version before the name change, sometimes known as Age of Civilization 2, has a very close place in my heart because, well, I made a lot of videos in this game that got millions and millions of views. In fact, still to this day, the mega campaign where I use this game to play out my simulation is still the biggest video I've ever made. So obviously, I've been waiting for this third installment for literally years. It truly is a very beautiful game. There's so much to do here. There's a bunch of different start dates, but of course, everyone loves World War II. So what if Thanos himself snapped away a World War II Germany, literally right before World War II was supposed to break out. This would obviously be quite the troll move, which I don't even know if he would do this. If your job is to eliminate half the population, wouldn't you want to keep Germ- you know what? Never mind. So the other European powers will be recolonizing this land, but it will be slow. The other nations of the world are going to be like, uh, what the hell happened? It's January 1936. Let's see how this world war breaks out. Because there probably will still be a World War II, I think. Even if Germany doesn't exist, I would assume it's probably going to be caused by the Soviets, but who knows? We, of course, got a very broken up China, and Japan's going to have to fight that. Look at how beautifully divided British Raj is. It's not just like one giant nation. We've got all sorts of different Indian provinces here. Same goes for all the colonial holdings like British Africa and French Africa. Of course, FDR is leading the USA currently, and right now Stanley Baldwin is leading the British Empire. The Austrian mustache man obviously was also snapped away, so he isn't here, but we do got Joseph Stalin leading the Soviet Union. Maybe Benito Mussolini will be able to take the reins as like the new fascist leader. Right now there is no Spanish Civil War, so he won't have any help out of Francisco Franco in Spain. Gotta keep an eye on all these units because that's gonna give us an idea on where the first wars are gonna begin. And I just realized India's got so much going on. They're very, I mean, they're together, but they're also divided at the same time. All the good old Chiang Kai-shek, or sometimes known as Chiang Kai-shrek. I don't know why I still remember those mods. Now, currently, the most popular places on Earth somewhat matches our modern day because it's British Raj. Then it goes China, then it goes the Soviet Union. Wow, over 100 million people in all those countries, which is actually not a lot compared to 2024 Earth, but remember, this is like over 80 years ago. And also, this is a British Raj that doesn't just have India, but also Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Burma, and China also isn't full China because they're still like fighting all these different warlords. They're gonna have to unite to probably fight the Japanese eventually. Without the Germans here, the UK is the number one nation, then it's the Soviet Union, France, the USA, then Italy and Japan. Wow, look at Mexico going seventh. So China has somehow pulled off the impossible and they've taken the northern part of Japan. Not only the Northern Ireland, uh, also this island they share with the Soviet Union, but they are on the big island. Meanwhile, I think the Japanese are going through a very massive civil war. Oof. Hirohito, what is going on, bro? They're technically not even at war with China. Maybe they had to peace out with the Chinese and this is what they gave them? I'm not sure what happened. Meanwhile, we have Siam or the nation of Thailand taking a big bite out of Burma. How did they get away with that? So that might eventually come to weak in the British Raj. Remember, there's a bunch of colonies still in the ASEAN nation. So the Dutch have Indonesia, we have British Malay, and then the French have all of Indochina. Oh, I forgot to mention Mao still here. That's an old Mao. He wouldn't be that old. He's supposed to be kind of young, you know. Well, since the Chinese aren't really worried much now about the Japanese, are they going to come and just destroy Mao? That's definitely possible. Well, wait, well, Mao has an alliance with Mongolia. Oh, they have military access. I think that's what the blue means. Meanwhile, I don't know how this happened. The Dutch just, oh, we also have the French moving in after the new unoccupied German territory. The Dutch just wiped out the Belgians. They left Luxembourg, though. Holy crap. All right, so the world is now beginning to recolonize the no-no Germans that are no longer existing. It's mostly the Italians, but we also have the Soviets and a little bit of the Americans. It's really spread out. Wow, this is going to be so ugly. Now, colonization in this world takes a bit of time. They're not going to do it instantly. It's going to be kind of like the Renaissance era. It takes like years to establish a province is like fully functioning. Then, it, then they go for more and then more and then more. So I guess anyone can get this stuff. I, I feel like the Dutch should probably start moving in after they destroyed Belgium. Oh, that explains why Belgian, this is like the Belgian Congo, but they're not underneath anybody. This is an independent territory, which they're probably really happy about. Portuguese and Gola is looking very weak. Oh, there's a little, there's a lot of wars going on in Africa. Oh, the British are really extending their, their African territory, African colonies. Meanwhile, Iran going after Iraq and the world gets to just have their own fun. They don't have to worry about the no-no Germans causing a bunch of chaos everywhere. And then also, the Japanese, I mean, they're just trying to survive. The Japanese, oh wow, the Japanese have extended Manchukuo to grab modern-day Mongolia, which is insane. That means that they don't really have, well, they have a puppet state, but the communist part of China or Mao doesn't have, well, he has a friend. Where's Mongolia at? Oh, Mongolia has been banished 
to uh, is that mongolia it's just this one province while wow, that's sad Genghis would be so disappointed in you sir norway has wrapped around sweden to get revenge on finland oh oh finland's gonna oh my goodness finland okay well at least you peaced out for now countries are now beginning to extend further and deeper into oh romania took out slovakia czechoslovakia exists but that's really just a czech republic at this point love that andorra is included in the game you know what so is Liechtenstein. so is san marino what about the vatican are they here don't see the vatican unfortunately oh boy uh that's 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 right still a little bit too early i don't think we're we're going to see an Israel form up because there's going to be no World War II. So, yes. Colombia has taken out Panama. Meanwhile, Algeria, which of course is being controlled by the French. Algeria is being fed, this little puppet here. So they're probably going to continue to be fed by the French. I think we're probably going to see a war between the French and the... Oh, did you just annex the... Yes, you did. There's no more Ireland. Well, that's nice, Britain. Soviets being awfully quiet. And the UK has extended territory from Hong Kong. See, Hong Kong's here, and they're now starting to, I guess, slowly invade China. There probably will be no Winston Churchill in this universe. It's actually Gabriel the First. He's, yeah, King Gabriel. Again, some new leaders that we're going to have to keep an eye on. So the French and British are actually allied in this scenario. We'll see how long that lasts. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union only has an alliance with Tanotuva. Big, powerful Tanotuva. I don't even notice that Brazil took out Paraguay. Oh, and the Netherlands might be losing. Oh, they, they peaced out. They're okay. Oh, I'm seeing a lot. Uh-oh, look at the Soviets move in. What are the Soviets doing? Oh, I think the Soviets might have just been reinforcing their new German territory. So are the Italians, I guess. Oh my gosh, that's Mexico. I thought that was Italy. The green is so... So the Italians are here, but so are... Why, why is Mexico here? Holy crap. Yeah, they're, they are ready to defend this land already, the Soviets are. So this is how they plan to spread communism. The French are continuing to get a little bit more this way. The Soviets just took out Latvia, but they've left Estonia and Lithuania for now. And now there's a pretty big war. Wait a second. Okay, Denmark just took a big bite out of Sweden. They're also at war with Japan. I don't know why Japan is at war with Sweden, but okay. The Iranians have fully eliminated Iraq with the help of Syria. Syria is at this time a puppet to, uh, to the French. And French Indochina is now expanding a little bit. Oh, Siam just got destroyed. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Well, wow, they started off so good, too. Japan is now reinvading the Chinese. Oh, they kicked out the Chinese from the... Okay, that was so weird. So they are now reinvading. Don't tell me this is Nanking. They should not be allowed to return to Nanking. Argentina got into a war with Chile, and they got a big bite out of Chile. Still okay, though. Well, they're not okay, but they are uh, around. Central America is beginning to consolidate. And the Czechs went to war with Austria briefly. It looks like the Americans are actually the ones that are left out. They tried to colonize the former German territory, but th this is it. Unless they go to war and take some land from Mexico, the USSR, or the Italians, and slowly the French are approaching Bavaria. This is the weirdest. Uh, th I did not expect these nations to recolonize Germany. Not this combination of nations, at least. And look at the British just stayed out of it. They're like, no, we don't want that. The Italians got this little uh, enclave here with the US a little bit. The Lithuanians have fallen out. It's just the Estonians that remain. Oh, there go the Chileans. Newfoundland. Okay, it, uh, so what is the British doing here exactly? Controlling civilization. They weren't always that big. Canada is being chomped down and Newfoundland is growing a bit. They're both still under the British Empire though, of course. US still controls the Philippines out this way. Holy crap! Okay, well there goes Iberia. That happened so quickly. They literally eliminated Portugal and almost all of Spain overnight. It's just Catalonia, which they probably love that. Of course, the Dutch took out Luxembourg and the Turks took out Bulgaria. Meanwhile, the Greeks took out Albania. That is a very big Manchuku. Okay, I think now Japan is beginning to roll. Japan is really making their puppet state Manchuku get really big. It's so random. Japan, for whatever reason, is out allied to Estonia. That is, that is it. And weirdly, this China has a really good opinion of Japan. This is a very strange world without uh, the mustache man. The Romanians are the one, wait, is that really the Roman? Yeah, the Romanians are the ones that took out the Austrians. That is, those are horrific borders. Hungry Billy exists. Also, there's almost no more land here in modern day Germany. Denmark has completely eliminated their rival, Sweden. Denmark's looking pretty good right now with so much of the Nordic countries, also including Iceland and Greenland. Mexico is approaching Central America and the rest of Colombia. Colombia, who's looking very good. Oh, without the Portugal, that means that these nations got their independence over here. So Mozambique and Angola are on their own. Are we beginning to see, what are up these, there's some new colors in here forming. What's going on in the British Raj? Should the British be struggling? Will they try to get their independence from the British? I love that Tanu Tuva was the one that actually fully eliminated Mongolia. Weren't they here before? Oh, uh, we've lost Stalin. He's finally died. That's a big France and a big France that just stole away Belgium from the Netherlands. Now, currently the French still have a good opinion of the UK, but again, that might not last. They don't like 
like the Italians. Well, they straight up have an alliance now with the UK. They don't like everybody else though. And the Turks are now eliminating or slowly eliminating Romania. It looks like the Soviets are going to be the ones to get this last big chunk of land. And then the French will probably get this one. I don't know who get this. Maybe the Italians. Oh, no, that was all French. The French and the British are literally just bullying the world right now. The Soviets got all the Baltic states. Oh my goodness. And now the French took all of Dutch. Oh, that's right. Well, I think that they not only took the European land, but they took their colonies from them over here too. Did the Chileans just get revived somehow? Oh, I think they might have been revived by the Brazilians. Oh, yeah. The Brazilians go to war with Argentina to free Chile again. Next up for Iran, they took out Afghanistan. Now, do they try to get to this territory here? Zhejiang, which is... I don't really know a lot about that nation, but they've been cut off and there's two different spots. Finally, we have Transjordan again. A free Transjordan. No more Cisjordan. Dang, look at the British go as they continue to surround Saudi Arabia. Oh, Ethiopia is still okay, although a lot of people don't like them, including the Italians, of course. The Greeks getting some revenge on the Turks, freeing Bulgaria and now getting onto their peninsula. They've actually helped out Romania a bit with that move. There no longer exists a Germany, like at least the spots that they used to control. Everything has been fully colonized. The Soviets like Mexico, but they do not like the Italians or the French or the Poles or, well, they don't really like anyone except for Romania. They like Romania and they like the USA, weirdly. This is getting weird. China is very big while a lot of people don't like China. That's including Japan, the Soviets, and British. Why did you, why did you choose to get so many enemies? Look at big British, e oh, oh my goodness. Ethiopians are moving. They're taking uh, colonial holdings from the British. Big Yugoslavia, but Greece continues to get bigger as well. I don't even know where to begin with the Balkans. Nobody does, even in our timeline. And the so- Oh my goodness. The Soviets- instantly just puppeted Poland, which now gives them access to their new colonial holdings that was in Af or that was in Germany. I almost just said Africa for some reason. So the Soviets are beginning to make moves now on continental Europe. Well, they exist on continental Europe, but they're beginning to expand westward finally, possibly with the help of the Romanians. This is going to come down to the French, British, and Soviets, isn't it? Because the U.S. isn't doing anything over here, and I don't really know why. They are just chilling here with Humphrey Pope. That's an interesting name. We elect the Pope in the U.S. And now the Chinese are moving southward. They are surrounded still by enemies but they're doing okay. We've lost Chad. The French have decided to just make this whole middle Africa uh, Cameroon. There's Ivory Coast, Mauritania, and Algeria's gotten smaller. Man, the Soviets have some enemies. Iran doesn't like them. Turkey doesn't like them. All of Europe, pretty much. Besides, I mean, the British feel neutral, weirdly. Oh, now the Iranians are going after Turkey. Wow, that's, oh boy. Okay, we might have, okay, I was wondering, is this like a repeat of the fall of the Ottoman Empire here? The Saudis really moving around a lot of troops, but I'm not sure if they, oh, they are at war. I think they're at war with the British. The Brit oh, there it is. Bam, the British are extending their whole... Wow, that's... This is getting crazy. It, the world is really just being divided, right? Oh, finally some moves being made by the U.S. Holy crap, is Mexico in the in a civil war right now? It definitely appears that... Is that the Dutch? Is the Dutch about to take... I don't know what the Dutch just did. Maybe it was the Italians. So the U.S. grabbed... Wait, did they grab Cuba? Yes, because that is now a puppet. British also extended into Haiti. Oh, look at the Italians kick... Oh, because that was a big war for the Italians. They wanted to extend their territory in Germany that we eliminated. So they kicked out Mexico from Europe. Some wars are happening, just some minor ones around the world. World. I, I like viewing the world like this. Funny seeing the Italians and Mexicans go at it because they've got such similar flags. It's just the, the middle icon. It's just the middle icon. It's the only difference. Is the US next to be kicked out of continental Europe? It looks like it. At war with the British and Brit Oh man, that's not good. USA at war with daddy. That could be bad. Now it's not. Oh, they are at war with Canada too. Canada's included and the Italians. Oh, they're losing this war too. It's only by negative 15%, but that might get worse. The French also might join in. The US only allied to Colombia. And weirdly, Japan. Japan, that's, this is a weird timeline. No Pearl Harbor, so I guess we're friends. That's an independent Algeria for now. The French kicking out the Moroccans. Oh, Mexico did get their territory back. Not sure how they managed to do that. Oh, they did win a pretty crucial war against the Italians. Now they're not even here anymore. Look at Dominica go as they've taken out the uh, DR. Dang, the U.S. is being just destroyed right now. Who else? Okay, so the U.S. is trying to free their territory up. What even is happening here? Oh, they peaced out, but they were forced to pay. We just lost North Dakota, Minnesota, parts of Montana. How dare you? Oh, Alaska lost a bunch of things. States, very crucial. Very, very crucial. I don't know how we can still be the U.S. without these territories. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so mean to these states right now. But Poland just got biting, bit down by the Italians. I don't know why I insist on continuing to reference biting. Did Manchukuo just take... Oh, I, they had such a similar color. I thought Manchukuo took over Japan. Only Soviet friend in the world right now is Norway. And the U.K. and France, they're still good. They're both, like, just terrorizing the world.
world right now. No wonder the U.S. and the Soviet well, the Soviets were cool. I guess they have high opinions of it. Wow, now the U.S. likes Canada. Oh, did Canada just get their independence? No, no, they didn't. They're still controlled by the U.K. But look at the big canyon. Some people are getting their free. Oh wait. Oh yeah, they're not controlled by the British. So some African nations are getting their freedom. Then they've got to do something with it. The Ethiopians are still here, but they don't look that good anymore. Denmark might be dying here soon to Norway. The Netherlands are gone. So very curious. Well, the the Indonesians are already gone too. I was gonna say I was curious what happens to their colonial holdings, but it's it doesn't matter anymore. China's in kind of a tough pickle right now. They like French Indochina, but oh, and also they're cool with the Soviets. This is also not a communist China anymore. They just they destroyed Mao. The Greeks might be eliminating Turkey. A dream come true for them. Look as Brazil chops off the top part of Argentina. They also got Uruguay. Am I reading this correctly? There's a province in Uruguay called Florida. The hell? This is a very big Iranian empire. I, I kind of want to see them eliminate French Syria too, just to see how big. I, I, that's basically the, the Persians returning. Then we can have another Greek Persian war. They didn't take out Syria, but they did take out the uh, Trans Jordan. Soviets and the U.S. currently have a non-aggression pact, but strange bedfellows uh, occur out of this world without a Germany. And again, of course, that is going to, I really hope, uh, there's no like personal unions in this game, right? Are we about to see the UK and France just like join forces? They love each other a little too much. They might become the Franco um, British Union. It almost looks like there's a cross over the Hun part and the, this nation is just called Gary. Gary, come home. Not exactly sure how Manchuku reached all the way over here to grab this Piece, but they did. China got very lucky that the British and Japanese didn't continue to attack them. Chinese actually have an alliance with Iran and British Raj. I might have spoken a little bit too early. Okay, yeah, I did. Uh, the Chinese just pieced out with the Japanese to retake all these islands again. So will the, oh boy, are the Philippines, who, why are the Philippines attacking Manchukuo? Holy crap. Okay, what, what happened here? I think this had to have been led by the US, right? Did this war get led by the US? The Japanese are falling apart, kind of. Are they supposed to have their like modern day Japanese? Japanese flag or is this still the Japanese Empire? I mean they have, they kind of look like the Japanese Empire. They still have the Korean Peninsula, they still have Taiwan. I think that's just like a current Japanese flag so they don't like make anyone mad. The Baltic nations are here so something, oh Finland got their freedom. Norway's straight up a puppet to the USSR. Oh finally the French and the UK, they've got a negative opinion. Finally we need those British French wars to begin. Once again the Bra oh there goes Argentina. That's, well I think that's their dream come true. Brazil and Chile. Finally peace in South America. I can't believe the Philippines just spearheaded this like that. Wait so the Dutch East Indies do still exist. I just don't know where. Oh, the Dutch East Indies are just literally French controlled now. I see. With the same old VOC flag. That's kind of crazy. The French are allied currently now with just Mexico and Romania. They have puppets too. Let's get those wars started. Wait, were those nuclear... Did you see that for a second? I just saw lights zooming out way out there. We are probably at the point where nations do have nukes. Oh crap. Oh crap. What's going on in the US is I think the French are... Oh my... Okay. Well, Mexico got back a lot of their old territory. They also got Cuba. They, they do have Cuba. With the help of the French, uh, they, okay, maybe the French want French Louisiana back too. Now, the Mexicans didn't get back all their territory, but they got back a lot of it. They got back Texas. Finally, Catalonia has been destroyed. Liberia actually grew a little bit. Oh my goodness, we have a huge China. They've almost eliminated Japan entirely. Also, the Philippines lost all this land up here. That's sad. Oh, the Chinese even took the southern part of the Philippines. China might begin to get moved. Oh, I can't wait to look at the population numbers at the end of this game. Yeah, look at, look at those little lights. The Italians, holy crap. Oh yeah, those are definitely nukes. Italy got messed up. It might have been by the French. It's the French and the Soviets. Well, Poland is back. They're still a puppet, but they're looking big. Is there a sec? There had to have been a second war for the U.S. Mexico got even more land. That is a very long Brazil. Argentina is back. Weirdly, the U.S.'s only friend now is Canada. That's their only straight-up alliance. And then, oh, they're cool to Soviets. They're also cool to British so far. The Mexicans and French still working together. They have a truce right now with the British Empire. Oh, this is an end. Oh my gosh, this is a con Mexico-controlled Philippines. Oh, I think everyone liked that. That just feels kind of. I mean, yeah, Mexico and the Philippines are kind of besties. Well, look at the French start taking over British Raj. Well, that's not good for the British. I'm sure they'll be okay, but they might be struggling right now. Denmark having, I think, a little nuke dropped on it. Finland grabbed Estonia. Who are you at war with? Might have been Brazil. And now the French now have Newfoundland. Greeks still trying to eliminate Turkey, but they haven't got the job done entirely. They do got their, their good old Constantinople back, though. Funny to see this world still, like, drop into just as much chaos, even without the Germans, which is not surprising. I have to say, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Big Kenya! There's 91 nations on the map purely in terms of population. It is China at number one, then British Raj. They have 50 more million than British Raj. The population numbers didn't really change that much, but in terms of overall who's winning the game, it's actually France in terms of prestige. Then it's Brazil in two. That's insane. UK dropped to three, and then China in four, Soviets in five. Mexico's beating the US now. Belgian Congo is beating the US. That's crazy. Brazil's got one of the best, the best economy in the world. Some very bad things have happened to the US in this world. Very interesting scenario. If you have any more suggestions for what you want me to do in this game, please leave me comments in the section down below. As always, big thanks to my patrons. Month.
to in Drew's basement. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Douche I'm bag boys. I can't Cutter sleep Pat without Kansas Drew's was voice. Amateur archaeology. A fat Norwalk. Carmel West. And Dillard's King Arias. Bear Hayes. Carino's best girl. Luxembourg Miglu lover. Miglu the Tyrol. Tamron. Mexican 76. Boy. If you like your name here, check that link to Patreon down below.